Have you ever wondered what factors lead to volcanic eruption? To find out, we're going deep underground where it all starts. It begins with the extremely hot molten and semi-molten rock that reaches 1,292 degrees to 2,372 degrees Fahrenheit, called magma, formed from Earth's melted mantle and crust. This magma builds up in chambers under the volcano, like massive fiery reservoirs. But there are three factors influencing eruption, the weight of the crust, counterpressure from the magma, and how strong the rock is. But when gas bubbles start forming in the magma, it's like furiously shaking a soda can. With no way to relieve the pent-up pressure, tension compounds rapidly, turning the Earth's microscopic cracks into large fissures as magma races upward. The volcano erupts, some with the potential energy to make irreversible environmental alterations that reshape surrounding landscapes to form new land masses and islands after the molten rock cools and solidifies. Eruption factors are so intricate that even variables like landslides or melting glaciers can trigger eruptions by taking weight off the surface. This fascinating interconnectivity of rock beds, magma, and pressure created the foundation of the planet Earth that we know today. This has been One Minute PhD, like and subscribe for more interesting facts.